Hello, I'm Dr. Girish Nelvigi, urologist and andrologist from Nelvigi Urology and Multispeciality Hospital, Bangalore. Welcome to my channel, Urology for Everyone. In my previous video, I talked on hyperuricemia or high uric acid levels in blood. In this video, I will talk on what to do when you discover to have high uric acid levels in blood and what problems high uric acid levels cause. Now, when a person has high uric acid levels, as I told in the as I discussed in the previous video, most of the time it is done as a part of master health checkups in tier 1 cities where it is incidentally found out. So here this condition is called asymptomatic hyperuricemia which is nothing but high uric acid levels in blood without symptoms. When they come to me I just advise them change in the lifestyle. I advise them to increase their water intake and decrease the consumption of red meat. That is enough. There is no need of drug therapy in such a situation. However, they need regular monitoring of uric acid levels to make sure that the level goes down with dietary management. The other category of patients who are also very common in the society are those patients with high uric acid levels and gout. Now what is gout? Gout is an inflammatory condition of the joints which occurs because of the deposition of uric acid crystals in various parts of the body in the soft tissues and in the joints also. How does the gout manifest? Classically it shows as pain, redness and swelling in the great toe. However, it can also show as pain, swelling and redness in other joints and also in non-joint areas called soft tissues. In such situation, the patient will have high uric acid levels and this needs to be treated. The second situation where high uric acid level needs to be treated is when the patient has stones in the kidney because of uric acid. So these are uric acid stones and they can be diagnosed by doing a serum uric acid level and also by imaging like a CT scan. Ultrasound and x-ray will not give us the composition of the stone but a CT scan with some fair degree of accuracy if not total accuracy tells us that these stones are uric acid stones. This condition also needs treatment. What is the treatment for high uric acid levels in the presence of gout and kidney stones? In acute episodes of gout, the patients are usually given NSAIDs, that is some painkillers with anti-inflammatory properties, adequate hydration, dietary change and rest to the joints involved. He is also advised to use some ice packs to relieve the pain. Sometimes steroids are given and there are other drugs called uricosidic drugs which are also given but they are less given, less uh, in, in fashion nowadays. Once the acute episode goes away, then the patient has to continue with the lifestyle modifications and also to start on some drugs which decrease serum uric acid levels and they excrete uric acid through the urine. These drugs have to be taken on a long term basis. The serum uric acid has to be monitored regularly and the dose modification of the drugs has to be done appropriately. When the patient has high uric acid levels associated with kidney stones, then the treatment in the acute episode is again the same. However, the treatment for kidney stones depend on the, the location of the kidney stones, the size of the kidney stones and also 
whether there is associated blockage to the kidney or the ureter, whether there is associated infection or not. The urologist will do the imaging and take a decision based on these factors. So I hope I have given some idea about increased uric acid levels and their problems and thank you for watching this video and see you next time.